Hey guys, it's Joseph Lacorte of Live to Aspire, and I'm here downtown Toronto. I'm so excited. I'm here with Clarice Michelin, a Brazilian designer that's been living in Canada for 13 years, pursuing her love for fashion and continually growing as a designer. So, Clarice, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, how long have you been designing? Well, um, for many years, um, I was a designer in Brazil, and when I came to Canada, I put that on hold for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just want to do everything uh, in a different way and try uh, to have a different experience. So I ended up working retail, and um, that was uh, was and has been a great experience um, because I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. That's amazing! It's amazing. So, what's your brand's name, and what's your style of design? Uh, my brand, uh, brand name, I'm sorry, it's uh, C Michelin from Clarice Michelin and uh, my design, I'm not sure how I define that, <laughs> but it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit girlish, a little bit uh, sassy, a little bit fun and, uh, but um, and, uh, it has some sophistication too and uh, I mix a lot of uh, things like uh, the tailor as tailoring aspects to the um, artisanal things, uh, you know. So my clothes, I would say, my, my line, my brand, I would say, is a little artsy, but um, it's a mix of things, I would say. <laughs> and how do you think Brazilian's culture um, allowed you to express yourself in your design and in your art? Well, they are uh, part of my soul, right? Uh, so they are... Um, I have that inside me, so there is no way I can uh, ignore that, right? So it's it's nice, it's good, and it's um, a good uh, a good thing to, 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 to be able to go back uh, and uh, bring elements from there, uh, from that culture, from my culture, uh, and in associate association with the uh, other um, um, aspects other cultures aspects that I, I acquired in here. What are some examples of different contradictory things like different trends and different styles that wouldn't really clash together in our in our society that you've done and that you enjoy putting together? Um, there is different aspects in that way. Um, I like to mix for instance um, tec different techniques. Uh, I, li I love to work with hand finishing. Um, I get for instance, like elements of the art couture, and uh, I mix with the crochet, with the knit, with the hand um, embroidery, and uh, I mix cash, high-end uh, cashmere fabrics with um, uh, again uh, arts and artsy details like a crochet, um, rosettes. You know, like I, I try to play with the, the luxury with the more um, like arts. So what are your experiences showcasing your line at FAT? And so for our viewers that don't know what FAT is, it's Toronto's Alternative Fashion Week. So how was your experience doing that? It was very good actually. It was a great opportunity. Um, I did that twice. Um, and uh, you know, you show uh, your collection in a, in a um, in an event that's more alternative, like the the way it was used to be called, and um, it it opens. Uh, I know it uh, opens uh, for more opportunities. You know, like a lot of people contact me after that. You know, uh, it's a way to get to know. It's a way to expose your work. What line are you currently working on right now? Uh, it's the spring summer 2013. It's called the Abstract Curves. And uh, it's inspired by a, a famous Brazilian architect that's called Oscar Niemeyer. Um, he, I don't know if you know his work, but it's so beautiful. He works with simplicity. Uh, with the cur uh, he always he's uh, he's a woman's lover. He likes women, and he likes women curves. And he always mentioned. Um, how that influenced his work. 
That's amazing. So, is there any last words that you would like to tell, you know, the city of Toronto and what they'll be expecting and uh, where to find you exactly online and in the social media networks? Um, well, um, you can find me at my website, www.simichalon.com. Um, I sell uh, basically private and online. Um, and you can come to see me on the July the 8th at 4 o'clock at the Herbal Front Center. And I just have to say that I'm very thankful for this opportunity. I'm thankful for to be here in Toronto, to live here. It's an amazing city. I really like it. Uh, I'm happy here and uh, I want to really grow my business in, uh, in this country. So that was it guys. It was amazing just to talking here and I'm excited for her show. I'm, it's such a beautiful day. I'm so excited for what the rest of the summer has to bring along. So come out, come to the uh, Expressions of Brazil and join us and I'm sure it will be a wonderful show. It was amazing to sit down and speak to you. Have a great day guys.